How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing. And we're back with another banger. So please smash the hell out of that like button, you guys. And subscribe. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Anthony Yard, you guys. UK's own. Um, A.K.A. The Beast. Uh, he says in a recent uh, interview, he says... Kovalev is just temporarily holding on to the WBO belt. Okay, and I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Um, Anthony Yard is the number one ranked WBO contender. Um, you know, and he says, you know, he's pretty much, he's concerned. He's just Sergey Kovalev is just temporarily holding it on to the WBO um, belt, lightweight title, light heavyweight title, um, following his victory over El Elder Alvarez last Saturday night, which he looked really good. Um, shout out to Kovalev. I don't agree with some of the stuff he does outside of the ring, but he did win in 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 the ring. Um, Yard is seventeen and zero with sixteen knockouts. You guys could he said, and it says on here it says it uh, you, you know Yard could be. You know, facing Kovalev for the WBO strap, depending on how well the 27-year-old British fighter looks in his fight um, this month against replacement opponent Travis Rivas um, on February 23rd at the 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 Leicester Arena in Leicester, UK. Sir, so from Butchernet. Uh, Yard was supposed to be facing the hard-hitting Medea Omar on February 23rd, but he suffered an injury training, and he couldn't, and he can't make the fight. It says, uh, pretty much, you know, as you all know, Kovalev was 33-3 and three, uh, with one draw, 28, 28 knockouts. He beat Elder Alvarez. He gave Elder Alvarez his first loss, 24 and one with 12 knockouts by a unanimous decision. It was one-sided. It was one-sided. I mean, you could have pretty much gave Kovalev every round if you wanted to. So, yeah, right here it's saying that, um, and this is exactly what came out of, um, it's coming out of Anthony Yard's mouth. It says, Sergey Kovalev regained the WBO world title over the weekend with a strong performance, but... As far as I am concerned, him holding the belt is just a temporary arrangement. And it will be in my hands before too long, Anthony Yard said. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, straight up, stylistically. Um, I think Anthony Yard gets blasted away, dude, by Kovalev. Um, Anthony Yard, his defense is C- minus at best. Um, and his offense is is really good, but it's not good enough where he won't get caught. Okay, I've watched Anthony Yard in a couple of fights live, and I, first of all, the competition is nowhere near what 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 Sergey Kovalev has been facing, or have faced, well, well have faced in his career. Not only that, that's number one. Number two. Uh, the, you know the skill set isn't there. You know I think Anthony Yard is still learning. I believe he didn't. He had a very short, if not um, no amateur background. Um, but I'm not to say I'm not saying that he can't win. But I just think that he. My personal opinion is that he will get he will get stopped by Kovalev. Kovalev punches far too hard, um, and this is this this is. This is just if the fight gets made this year, okay? If the fight get made, if the fight gets made next year, we gotta re, we got I'll I'll do an assessment on it then. But if, this is far as 2019. If the fight gets made in 2019, Anthony, the Beast Yard gets stopped by the Crusher Kovalev. Um, it's just straight up, man. It's you know it's taps and orange, man. I mean the guy. You know, Yard is not fighting anywhere near the competition of Kovalev. 
He's not even on the on the level of a Kovalev right now. Nowhere near. I don't even know if um Anthony Yard could be the Sullivan Barrera. You know, let me see him fight him. Let me see Anthony Yard fight the Sullivan Barreras of the world. You know, the Joe Smiths of the world. You know? I mean, you know, fighting these guys that Anthony Yard have been fighting lately. You know, they're first off, they're smaller than him. That's number one. Um so the weight advantage is so is so, you know, it's just so much, you know, more. I mean, a lot of people say that Anthony Yard comes into the fight as a cruiserweight. And I mean that could be pop that could be, you know, that could be the truth, you know. But um as far as Anthony Yard is concerned, I think he should still do the domestic level fights, keep building his resume up, keep building the skills up. They've already offered Anthony Yard the Arthur Better B fight. He did not take it publicly. And um that showed me that he wasn't ready for Arthur Better Beef. Um so you know, that damn sure shows me um that he won't be ready for uh Kovalev. Kovalev and Arthur Better Beef both fit very hard for that division. And um Anthony Yard it's it's hard as well too, but you gotta understand, man, Kovalev is getting older in age, so he knows that he's his defense has, has gotta be, you know, top notch. Um but as as I'm saying and and as I'm you know as I'm gonna keep you know keep going on about this um subject, uh Kovalev does keep his hands down, man, so he can't get caught. I seen him catch catch his hands down, uh, you know, have his hands down a lot in the Alvarez fight. So you know, it's just a matter of opinion. But Anthony Yard did say, man, you know, Kovalev is is temporary temporarily holding on to pretty much his belt. Um, so like I said, man, you know, I believe uh Yard is the WBO inter- intercontinental champion. Um obviously that's not the world champion uh belt, you know, that uh Kovalev has. But um Kovalev might have put himself back at the top spot at the 175 pound division. With that being said, um, Elder Alvarez has to go back to the drawing board. Um, there's still other great champions in the uh, division. You got, you know, Demetrius Bivol, uh, which I don't think Anthony Yard beats any of the champions at 175. Um, shit, I think. Um, Caleb Sweet, uh, Sweet P, um, Plant, I believe that's his nickname. I believe he beats, uh, I believe Caleb Plant beats, um, Anthony Yard. I mean, you gotta understand, guys, you know, Anthony Yard is going in for the kill every fight. I mean, he's trying to knock you out every single fight, okay? His boxing ability, I mean, let's just be honest, it's, it's not there. You know, he doesn't have a high level of a boxing ability. You know, um, and it's just, it's going to show in these big time fights. I'm sorry. It's going to show. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please smash that like button and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, peace.